have to be one of the best ways to experience Europe's Mediterranean coastline. On board the world's first six-star discovery yacht, Scenic Eclipse, delivering you into the heart and soul of the region's most adored destinations, all in ultra luxury style. Our nine-day Riviera Delights cruise with Scenic set sail during the European summer, taking in the best of this part of the world, from Barcelona to Rome. We've already ticked off some of this coastline's incredible highlights, including our departure city, Barcelona. The Iberico Jamón is Spain's famous ham. <laughs> The summer playground of the jet set, Saint Tropez. How does Bridget Bardot eat this kind of food and look like she did in the movie? It's very light, you know. <laughs> and the tiny principality of Monaco. But what Monaco lacks in size, it certainly makes up in attitude. This is the billionaire's playground. This week, our journey continues along the northwestern Italian coastline delivering us to the spectacular Cinque Terre World Heritage National Park. Our adventure today begins in the stunning medieval fishing town of Porto Venere. From here, scenic transfer us to the Cinque Terre villages. The Cinque Terre is a highlight of the Italian Riviera. Five little villages clinging to the cliffs along a 15 kilometre stretch of coastline. You can either walk all five villages, takes around six hours, or you can float in on a ferry. Monterosso is the largest of the five villages and our first stop. It seems that uh, they chose the difficult option and built their houses right on top of the cliffs. Why did they do that? During medieval times, even before the inhabitants of the area, they realised that uh, this area was really great for the cultivation of grapes because the territory was and still is always in the sun, so they decided to move from the inside area to the sea. So they've got the wine, the sunshine, the coastal views, they've got everything here! Yeah, yeah lucky <laughs> we are! Remarkably, this isolated and dramatic coastline was only put on the tourist map in the 1970s, thanks to some pretty adventurous backpackers. It's so beautiful here. How many people live in Montorosa? Uh, they are more about 2,000. During the summer period, you'd get more than 2,000 visitors a day. Yeah, a lot coming from all over the world. Happy German, happy English, oh. yeah. A melting so. pot of happy, tanned, drunk people. <laughs> <laughs> The trek between Monterosso and the nearby picture-perfect village of Venazza takes around two hours by foot or a short ferry ride. Vernazza seems to be the quintessential village of the Cinque Terre. Yeah, it, it is. We have so many paths you can walk through and uh, Right at the end of the path, a wonderful church which is dedicated to Santa Margherita, and then our wonderful typical Carugis. What's a typical. Carugi? Carugi, it's a very, very narrow pedestrian uh, road, typical of the area where we are. Carugi, it's uh, an Arab word. And, uh, but there are no cars here because it's UNESCO protected. Yeah. For centuries, locals have cultivated the dramatic hillside vineyards by hand, producing award-winning local white wines. So, of course, being in the Cinque Terre, we have to drink wine, wine from the yeah, Cinque Terre. Sure. White wine made with three different kinds of grapes and typical of the area where we are, Cinque Terre D.O.C. Let's Chin -chin. try it. Chin -chin. <laughs> Back 
back on board after a day of sightseeing and there are plenty of ways to soak in our indulgent discovery yacht life. The spa's temperature controlled vitality pool is the ultimate way to unwind and immerse yourself in the stunning views. Or if you're keen on sharing your day, the Panorama Bar is the afternoon meeting spot for a sundowner and to mingle with fellow guests. Well, you two look like you're doing it tough. <laughs> <laughs> you're having a wonderful holiday. I mean, you can't beat the destinations. They're just delightful. Um, so it's been great sort of choosing different tours to go on. You know, we've done a mix of cycling tours and walking and, um, that's you know, and there's time to do your own thing as well. So that's really enjoyable. So it's a good mix. to Scenic Eclipse, the ultimate way to cruise the crystal calm waters of the Mediterranean. When it comes to Discovery Yachts, she really is in a class of her own. Purpose built with state-of-the-art technology, as well as two six-seater helicopters. We're on a Discovery Yacht. And this is just the most incredible way to discover everything, isn't it? It is. You just can't see anything as well as you can with a helicopter. You get to see the big picture. And this is a stunning chopper. Someone's out here polishing it every second of the day, aren't they? She is gleaming. She is. The engines are perfect. The interior is perfect. There's a lot of maintenance involved to make sure it's safe and comfortable ride. <laughs> Let's chat more hat. Let's go, Tony. I'm so Let's excited. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Chief Pilot Tony Lumpkin is flying us today in his pride and joy, the Airbus H130. What a perfect day for flying. It's absolutely stunning out here. This weather is perfect. The seas are calm, the winds are calm. It's beautiful out here today. And it's such an incredible way to peer into everyone's backyard. <laughs> it is, though. I do try to respect their privacy, but they do get a bit of a glimpse of the cliff side and the beautiful views they have and maybe a peek into how the other side lives. Our 30-minute experience takes us high above the Tuscan archipelago. It's amazing those colours. You've got the blue water, the pink lighthouse, the green grass. It's just picturesque. We're in uh, Puerto Santo Stefano right now, which is the area we are just passing now. And then we're going to head out to these islands just offshore here. It's Isla de Puerto Giglio. It really is so smooth and so calm. There's only one word for it, rockstar. Or is that two words? No, the pilot's one word. So much. Thanks for flying with me. I'm going to remember that forever. I hope so. Our scenic free choice activity this afternoon is a walking tour of Porto Santo Stefano, which, according to local guide Marcella, is where the Italians like to spend their summers. So the Italians are very protective of the environment here. You have marine parks and national parks, and, and look at it, it's so pristine. Yes, because we appreciate the nature to enjoy it most, especially people that live in the city. They want to find peace, nature. They do a lot of scuba diving because we have a very impressive sea. So you could come here and, and rent a villa, rent a boat, live the life. Yes, or maybe you have your own boat. <laughs> I want a boat. I want a friend with a boat. <laughs> the Spanish fortress is the town's oldest tourist attraction, an imposing reminder of the coastline's many battles over the centuries. It was made in the 16th century by the King of Spain because they conquered this part of Italy and they wanted to have a point for overlooking the sea. 
And what happened here during the World War II? The only things that we have remained is this fortress. Everything else was bombed? Yes, uh, everything. So they did everything uh, newest and everything again. Now I know Italy changed sides during the war, so who was doing the bombing? The Americans. Ah. But luckily, the Spanish fort remains. Yes. After a day of sightseeing through this glorious slice of Tuscany, I'm ready for my Mediterranean baptism. First time you swam in the mess? Yes, it is. It is. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. Jumping in, it's really cold, but you get used to it. Give me five minutes. It is, you, you get used to it. It feels good now. There have been a lot of firsts on this trip, including this one, the first time in the med. <gasps> I've got a big gulp full of life, that's for sure. Oh, so beautiful. Welcome back to our opulent scenic eclipse cruise along the gorgeous Mediterranean coastline. We've arrived on the French island of Corsica by ship, as have many over thousands of years. But we are here to sightsee rather than invade, which is why these citadel walls surround the town of Bonifacio. If only these walls could talk, they would have plenty to say. That is absolutely stunning. Oh! Wow, breathtaking. The old town of Bonifacio is on the southern coast of Corsica, perched high above the dramatic limestone cliffs. The street is called the Street of the Two Emperors. On the left side, you have a house where the famous Charles V from Spain, who was the emperor of Europe in 1541, is to spend a couple of weeks, and on the right side, 250 years later, the even more famous Napoleon Bonaparte spent some month here. He was preparing an invasion of Sardinia, which never happened. And uh, there is a strange story about him almost being killed by Neapolitan sailors. The fate of the world would have been changed, you know. And the, uh, the, the door isn't very high, I notice. The door. <laughs> I'm joking. It's a little French heckle for you there. <laughs> Now, while the island of Corsica belongs to France, its heart and soul is definitely closer to Italy. Is that Sardinia that we can see in the distance? This is Sardinia, absolutely, yes. This is very close, only 10 miles from the port of Bonifacio. And they used to be connected. They were connected like a million years ago. Then Mediterranean was dried, and then when the water came back, it separated both islands. Mediterranean diet is said to be one of the world's healthiest and here in Corsica the locals live and dine by this area's bountiful seasons. So Francois, everything here is local? Everything here, everything here is local. I mean, the plates, even the bread, I guess. <laughs> we touch here the, the very old tradition, pastoral tradition of Corsican cuisine. It looks like in the Italy, of course, this is a very Mediterranean so cuisine. We are very close. So it's really important for locals to eat food that's in season. Very important for us because we lost a lot of our agricultural production during the first part of 20th century. And today there is a, a revival of local products. Try! Superb, so magnifique. I have no more French words. <laughs> and after a day touring, Scenic Eclipse offers a range of options for the evening's entertainment, including the all-inclusive dining and beverage experiences to cherry-pick from 
And tonight, I'm dining in the night market at Coco's. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that is now your Korean taco. And tacos originated in Mexico. So that is fusion. This very special culinary experience. Another lovely place. Offers eight lucky guests an intimate interaction with one of the ship's best kept secrets, Chef Strawberry. Been a chef for over 12 years. By the way, I'm 13 years old. <laughs> no, I'm 33. <laughs> on our Mediterranean cruise is the capital of Italy. My name, Lavinia, or as the Italians say it, Lavinia, means woman of Rome. So technically, this is my city. Andiamo. Our Rome walking tour kicks off at one of the world's most famous meeting spots, Piazza di Spagna, also known as the Spanish Steps. I really like Roma, but I feel like a lot of other people are loving it too. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I know, I know. There's so many people. There's so many people here because they want to see the steps. Uh, they want to just hang around and take coffees. So it's a very, very busy spot. The Spanish steps are not Spanish. <laughs> They're actually French. They were created in 1700s just to let the French community to walk up from the square to the French church. So built by the French, called the Spanish Steps in Italy. <laughs> Why are they called the Spanish Steps then? Because down in the square there is the Spanish Embassy. So the Spanish Embassy gave the name to the Spanish Square. And it's a very exclusive area. I can tell from all the shops around here. Just a short stroll from the Spanish Steps is the nearly 2,000 year old Roman temple, the Pantheon. Build it all that time ago. Well, with the amazing technology that the Romans created, imagine that the dome still nowadays is the largest dome ever created in concrete. And the columns outside are all monolithic columns, just one piece of stone. Each column is one piece. Exactly, and it was imported from Egypt. Wow. And so tell me more about the church. Now, the church is active since very early 5th century AD and still nowadays we have Mass every Sunday and Saturday afternoon. So it's still an active church. So that's why we can't go in and film because it's exactly, Mass. Exactly, yes. Today it's Sunday so they're having Mass now. One of the highlights of visiting Rome is coming face to face with the sheer size and scale of its ancient history. But one monument stands above them all. The mighty Colosseum, the brainchild of Roman Emperor Vespasian, built as a gift for his loyal subjects. The emperor did that for propaganda reasons. So everything was for free. Entering was for free. Food, wine, sometimes even women was for free. Prostitutes, they provide a prostitute. Absolutely, that yes. That wasn't in the movie. Did that. <laughs> <laughs> that was not. So tell us what would happen inside the Colosseum? Well, How many people would be in there? Well, this was a place that was created for probably 50 up to 80,000 people. And it was created for the gladiators' fights. People loved seeing people killing each other at that time. They celebrated, you know, that kind of violence. And this was the place for that. And the stage had a certain design to it to sort of trick the competitors, didn't exactly. it? Exactly. So the stage had a sort of lift and system of elevators so that the actors of those days, the gladiators, could just pop up in the middle of the stage. It was like a special effect a thousand years ago. So you might be fighting someone and then a line would pop up behind you. Exactly. You've got to have your wits about you. Yeah, yeah. Whew. 
time to think back over the highlights of this incredible trip. Taking off on a chopper from the scenic Discovery yacht, sailing the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean right into the world's most exclusive ports. Waking up in a different country every day and hearing all these incredible languages. So on that note, I shall say goodbye, au revoir and arrivederci. Discover the benchmark in ultra-luxury cruising on a scenic eclipse voyage in 2023-24. Experience an all-inclusive journey of a lifetime through the Mediterranean. Secure your voyage today with Scenic's super early bird offers and save up to 20% on select and itineraries. Getaway viewers can save an additional $300 per person off Scenic Eclipse cruises. For more information or to request your voucher, visit scenic.com.au forward slash getaway. Call 1300 790 372 or speak to your nearest Scenic Travel Advisor.